In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily create video tutorials using Loom Chrome extension. And the best part for beginners is that it is very easy to create these videos using Loom screen recorder. So if you don't understand what is on my screen, don't worry about this. This is just an example. This video is very important for all online entrepreneurs because in the middle of this video, I'm going to show you how you can capture email addresses of your potential customers by using a call to action feature in Loom video recorder, where you can put a button on your video, then you offer something valuable to your customers or your students, and then you connect that button with a form on any of your email service providers such as MailChimp, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign. I use ConvertKit and I will show you how you can connect ConvertKit form with a button on your video. But before I start, if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. Let's get started. I open a new window and in Google, you can type Loom video recorder, press enter. This is the website loom.com. Click on that and you can get a Loom desktop application from this website. So get Loom for free. You can create an account or you can simply sign up with your Google account. And now once you have created an account with Loom, you can log in and you will see this screen. Now there are two ways you can use Zoom. You can install a desktop application and you can also use a Chrome extension. To install the desktop application, you click on record a video and then you scroll down and you can download the app. I am on Windows, so it will be a .exe file. I can simply click on that and install. Now, in order to install the Chrome extension, I type Loom Chrome extension and then I click Loom for Chrome. And now you can click add to Chrome and then add extension. And now extension has been installed. I can close this window now and I can also close one of these windows. You can dismiss this message. And now if I click on new video and then record a video and now Loom needs access to my microphone and camera. So I deactivated my camera from OBS, which I'm using to record this video. And, and then I click on this and then click allow. And now as you can see that my picture has appeared on the left lower corner. I can put it anywhere I want. So let us keep it there. And now before I click on start recording, there are few features available on this picture. As you can see, there are three different sizes. This is currently the smallest size possible. I can click on the second one and the size will increase. Then I can click on the third one. The size will further increase. There is a menu here as well from where you can also start recording and you can hide this menu by clicking on these three dots. Now on the right hand side, if you click here, you can record in three different variations. You can record your screen and camera. You can record screen only or camera only. I can select my microphone. I have two microphones. One is with my webcam C920 and the other is Title Beach which is selected now and I only have one camera which is selected here and there are some important settings in advanced options. So if I click show advanced, I have few more options now. I can flip the camera. So the next option is live photo for screen only. So if I have selected screen only in this area, I can choose any of my photos and instead of the live image, a photo will appear in this circle. And once done, I can hide these options. And now if I click on start recording, I will see this screen and I have three options. I can record my entire screen. I can record a particular application window or I can record a tab. So my presentation is in this tab. So therefore I will click on Chrome tab. I will select this presentation and now I'm ready to share my screen. So I click on share. And now it will take few seconds and then my image will appear on this screen. And basically the video is now being recorded. I can explain whatever I want to explain on these slides. 
you can use slides you can use any image you can use a website whatever you want and now I can explain whatever I want and when I want to stop the recording I click on this white tick mark and it says finish recording so I click on that and now a new screen will appear this is my video I can play it by clicking on this and now you will not be able to hear the voice because it is in the headphone but now my video is ready I can copy the link I can share with my students but the best practice is you just give it a name so you can type any name you want you can also give it a description so the best practice is that you click on this download arrow and it will be downloaded in mp4 format and then you can upload to your learning management system your youtube channel your website your facebook wherever you want so this is a good practice that you download in mp4 format otherwise you don't have to you can copy this link and this video will be available on loom server and one of the best feature is call to action and you can put some button or some call to action on your video which is a fantastic thing to have so i have opened a new tab and this is my convert kit account which is my email capturing application i use convert kit i have prepared some valuable resource for online teachers which is a beginner's guide to online teaching this is a pdf resource and i want to give this resource to someone who is willing to give me their email and if you are providing any online service you are a teacher tutor coach trainer then your email list is your valuable asset because those are your potential customers who are interested in your products so i want to offer this product so you have to do a little setup in the convert kit which i cannot explain in this video if you want me to make a video i can uh, make a separate video just put in the comments that you want to learn about how i created this otherwise there are a lot of videos available on youtube and this is not in my niche so i don't uh, make videos on this kind of software but i can do that so i have this pdf resource so what i can do is i can click here and i can copy the link of my form which will capture their email and then i go back to loom and this is call to action so this is one of the premium features currently it is free for me so i can click on this call to action and now this button appears i can change the text of the button for example i can put something like uh, get online teaching guide something like that and then i put the link of my convert kit form in this area i can also change the color of the button color of the text and also the style so let's click here and i select rounded style and now my button is rounded and now i click save and now i can copy this link and i can put this link in the description of my youtube videos for example so let us see what will happen if someone clicks on this link so i copy this link i open a new window and i paste here now that person will start watching the video and as soon as the video starts this button will appear here and if the person let me mute this video and if the person clicks on this button let's see what happens it will open my form and now the person can fill name email some message and then my viewers can click on send me the guide and now this message will appear the person will confirm that he owns that email because i will send the link of this pdf in the email of that person so no one can enter a false email so the link will be sent to the email that person will click the link and this pdf will be downloaded onto his or her computer very simple and you got the email address so loom video recorder is a powerful tool to capture leads for your online business you can create small marketing videos whatever is your business if you are an online teacher you can create two three minute video about your online course you can put a call to action and then you can spread that video on various platforms and capture lead for your business so let me close this now in my loom account now i have this video available here i can copy the link from here as well and if i want to download for some reason i can click on these three dots and i have this download and some other options available as well so let us click on this invite to edit 
and now you can put any email for example if you are using someone on fiverr to edit your videos so you can put uh, that person's email here and based on your instructions any virtual assistant will be able to edit your videos and save you some time because you have to remove few things from the videos so this is a very good option as well and if i double click on this video i will reach the same screen uh, which i showed you before and in these options you can see that there are some other options available now call to action option has changed to edit call to action so that you can edit you can also trim the video you can also put some custom thumbnail and there are some settings so let's click on the settings and here you have few more options like emojis or gif type of thumbnails so let's cancel this and if you want to delete for some reason you can delete this video as well now let us try trim and now to start trimming i have to click on start trimming and i will get these two bar type symbols which i can drag and wherever i want to trim i can start the video i can look for the locations where i want to trim and once i have selected these two areas from this point to this point then i click on remove and now it will show me that this area will be removed and now i can simply click publish changes and it will take some time to trim your video as you can see there is a message that their trimming engine is working on some other task and it will take some time another cool feature is that you can add a password to your video so if i click on add password i can add any password and then save the video and if i send this link i will have to send the password as well so that the person could be able to view the video so i hope that i have covered most of the features of loom screen recorder but if you have any questions please put in the comments and i will try to answer those questions thanks for watching and see you next time